Michigan and a lot of other states across the U.S. are seeing big increases in curbside recycling since so many of us, of course, are spending more time at home and even working from home to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. Now, at the same time, the Michigan Department of Energy and Great Lakes, better known as EGLE, is reporting common mistakes that are increasingly making their way into recycling bins and causing lots of problems within that recycling system. Lauren Westerman is the Resource Recovery Specialist at Kent County Department of Public works. Thanks for joining us today, Lauren. I want to tell you this. This is a huge topic of conversation in my house about what can be recycled, what can't be recycled, and what you have to do to something before you put it in the recycling. So why don't you start out by tell telling us about what can be recycled? Yeah, definitely. There are, at Kent County, basically five main materials that you can recycle. Paper and cardboard, plastics, metal, glass, and cartons, like your coffee creamer cartons and juice boxes. Uh, so those five things, if your recycling is going to Kent County, Kent County's facility, you can put them in, but make sure that they are clean and empty first. So that means a quick rinse. If it's a cardboard box, make sure it's flattened and empty. So everything needs to be clean, empty, and loose in your recycling bin. Okay, let's go through a couple of uh, things that are common areas of questions. Let's talk about those pizza boxes because you get a pizza and sometimes it's, there's a grease stain in the bottom of the pizza box. Are, is that recyclable? That's a super common question and the answer is yes and no. The pizza box, if it has minimal to zero grease, you can flatten it and put the whole thing in, but typically there's lots of grease. So a trick is rip it in half, recycle the top part, throw away the bottom part that has all the grease on it. Okay, so when you get to the bottom of, say, a laundry detergent jug, and you know that there's got to be residue of the laundry detergent inside the jug, do you have to clean that out as well? One or two rinses is usually going to be enough. Uh, for me, I will typically run it under my faucet, put the cap on, and literally just like two seconds of water added in there. Shake it around, squeeze out the suds. One more time, squeeze out the suds. That's going to be enough that it's clean enough for our facility. Uh, but um, the cleaner the better, but that is going to be clean enough. Okay, what about, so it's a little early to start planting our tender annuals, but I know a lot of folks have been out doing yard work already. What kinds of things are you able to put into a recycling? For example, maybe those plastic trays that your bedding plants will come in from the nursery. Definitely don't put any of your yard waste in your recycle bin. Some people do get composting and recycling confused, uh, but no yard waste, no actual soil or plants. The plant pots, those are usually a recyclable plastic. You can rinse out the dirt, make sure that on the bottom there is the recycling triangle and a number one through seven. Usually there'll be a six. So make sure that that is on the plant pot before you put it in the recycle bin. Another option with those is actually to return them to your, uh, some of the garden shops and um, flower the flower nurseries and such will take them back. So you can check check that for a reuse option before going into the recycling. Great. There's just so much that people need to know about. So is there any special information that you really need people to know about, about what's going on at your operation? Well, uh, besides making sure you're recycling the right things, making sure they're clean, empty, um, loose in your bins, uh, we are working on a construction project that we have just had to temporarily close our drop-off facility. We had a, um, a residential drop-off outside in the back parking lot at the recycling center. So that's temporarily closed because it conflicts with our construction. And so is the electronics recycling option there. But we have listed on our website a lot of alternatives. Curbside recycling is still going. You can sign up with the 23 various companies that work at that deliver to our facility if you don't already have curbside recycling and then for those alternative drop-off options you can visit our website reimaginetrash.org and if people do go to your website are they able to find a list of everything that maybe if they have any questions about what can be and what can't be recycled and those sorts of things yes definitely we have 
all the information about that temporary drop-off closure right away on the website. Then we have a search bar, so if you have unusual items, you can type those in and we try to provide the resources for that, as well as then you can get to our, our um, common recycling guide, all the items that we want to see in the recycling. Are you finding that there are some seasonalities to maybe the mistakes that people are making? Yes, the common seasonalities coming into spring and summer were, well, we often see hoses, other tanglers like that, the dirty flower pots. We don't want to see these things, but that's just kind of what we see. In the summer, we'll see an increase in all of the number one plastics, like your water bottles. That's a good, uh, a good thing to see, but um, that's just the seasonality of recycling. So keep anything that is long and stringy out of your recycling bin. Uh, Spring-wise, also, you'll see a lot of the plastic wrap that comes around all those garden and flower supplies. Um, no grocery bags. Those are also tanglers. And then no hazardous materials. A lot of people are doing spring cleaning in their garages, so make sure that you're not putting anything flammable, anything um, uh, explosive, chemicals, none of that in there either. Really important stuff. And once again, how can people get in touch with you to find out all of the information that they need to know? We have uh, either on our website, you can go to the contact us button, or we have an email at recycle at kentcountymi.gov. Uh, so you can reach us either of those places. Fantastic. Well, thanks, Lauren. Thanks for stopping by at West today. Important information. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. And stay right there. More of 8 West when we come back. Don't go away. You're all access pass to everything West Michigan.